Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully installed that Laravel, right? Now I want to do, I want to install one of the Laravel authentication package as a breeze. If you go to that Laravel official website, and here if you go to that packages, like uh, that is all that our packages, and you can see there is a breeze package. Now I want to, do, I want to install it. That is the Laravel breeze. So I have already created one of the project which is totally fine and once you have that uh, new Laravel application then we have to do you have to install it uh, that is a breeze with the composer. I simply copy it okay I simply copy it and now we have to do uh, right now our server is now running and then I'm better I want to create another CMD if I in particular this folder here I want to do and to open that CMD and now I want to do install that breeze package okay so that is our breeze package now I want to do and to click as enter now it will be install that breeze package in your system okay and also it will be created some of the file structure in here so in particular that position it will be created some of the file for the multi authentication system okay so here that will be also take some time you can see it's already installed it's very light one of the package is successfully now installed when it will be done then that will be redirected to your particular this folder area okay which is totally fine and now i want to do and to after that our next command we have to run as a php artisan breeze install okay and now we have to do have to copy it and then after that i want to do and to publish it that means here there is a php artisan breeze install and now if you click as a enter now you can see it's now successfully done there is a breeze scaffolding installed successfully and now please execute that npm install and npm run dev so before install that npm install and npm run dev i have already discussed about that things with you here we have to install that node.js okay so there is a node.js package simply download this software and install it in your system and after that install it if you want to check it that is successfully installed or not you just simply go to your command line okay any other command line just i uh, run that as a our run with the cmd okay run the cmd and here if you check that in you know, node.js is install it or not i have already installed it for the reason so here you can check it with the node and then hyphen v now click as the enter now that will be display your version name you can see right now i am using that version 16.13.0 okay that means that is actually the current version i simply download it if you click it in here automatically that will be in, in a download one of the exe file and that is a next by next process simply download it okay make that sure you install it and also you can check it with this command as a node hyphen v then that will be display uh, this type of one of the version name if everything okay rather than that will be not display any version okay make that sure you installed that node.js so successfully i have already installed it which is totally fine and now we have to do we have to run out this command as a npm install and npm run dev okay i simply copy it and here i paste it now click as enter now that will be also install that npm install and npm run dev and it may take little time okay friends so when it will be done then i will come back again here you can see it's now successfully installed okay that is also successfully installed our npm everything is great which is totally fine and now i want to do i want to configure our database okay if you want to configure this database here you can see i have already installed both of these now we have to run as a php artisan migrate so when you install it it's created some of the default file like if you go to that http http and then the controller and in, into the controller you can see when you install that laravel breeze it will be created this type of some of the file and also it will be created some of the route you can see it's also created some of the route great mm, which is fine and also if you go to that uh, database into this database there is a migration they have some of the default table okay that is a database default table now first of all i want to do i want to migrate all the table so if you want to migrate it uh, we have to create another database now i say when you install that zamp and our server is now running and here if you run or write down with the local host then that will be redacted to your this type of one of the dashboard and here you have to do you have to go to that php my admin okay now I simply go to that php my admin and now go to that database now that is all that my database right now to do want to create another database for our multi authentication i name it as a bm auth okay bm auth that means the breeze multi authentication whatever the name actually choose right now that is our type as uttf mb4 and then we simply create this database if you click as a create and you can see our database is now successfully created
and now we have to do we have to configure it that means i just simply copy this database name and if you now go to your project into this project if you go to that dot env and into the dot env there is our connection as a mysql and there is a database name by default they are actually providing that name as a laravel now i have created one of the database name as a bm auth okay that is will be our database name i have already created this database and right now there is a username by default in my xamp as a root and they have no password as i told you friend if you want to check it simply go to your database dashboard and if you go to that user account you can see my username by default as a root and the password they have no password which is totally fine and now i have created that our database name as a bm auth okay here i want to do i want to migrate all that our default table that means laravel all the default table which is totally fine now if you click as a save all and now we have to do we have to migrate it okay like here if you go to that breeze official site i have already uh, run the php addition breeze i have already run that npm install dev and now i want to do to migrate if you click as a copy and now i want to migrate it okay in particular this folder area here there is a php addition migrate now click as a enter now that will be install all that your table yeah you can see it's now successfully created all that our default table now if you go to our database now click as a refresh now that will be added all that our table and here by default one of the table as a user table okay you can see that is a user table and into this user table there is a field as a name field email field email verification the password remember token so that is all the default thing now if you go to your project into this project now if you refresh it now you can see it's now successfully created our authentication for with this breeze as a locking and the register so that will be our logging page uh, actually it comes from my browser okay so that is will be actually empty okay now there is an email and then password and also if you go back and if you go to the register now you can see there is our register page everything is ready made now if you want to create some of the user like i name it as a user okay user and i just put one of the email address as a user at the rate gmail.com and i put that password as a udemy 12345 and also udemy 12345 now i want to do and to create this type of one of the user and now if you click as a register user yes you can see it's now successfully created one of the user and i am also successfully able to logging and now you can see i am logging with the user right and if you go to the database now click as a browser that you can see there is a new id f1 and there is a name as a user email address as a user at gmail.com and also i put that password as a udemy 12345 which is totally fine right friend i hope you understand it and if you click as a logout and now if you want to log in without this new user i name it as a user at the red gmail.com and password was udemy 12345 now if you click as a login yeah you can see i'm now successfully logging that means everything is ready made right here when you install that laravel breeze package breeze actually provided all that authentication okay here you can see that is our username password i have already saved it in my that is actually saved from my browser so rather than you have to write down this code okay now click as a logging and i want to do when this user will be sign out that means you can see when you click as a logout it's redacted to our home page I don't want to redirect it to the home page. I want to do when this user will be successfully logging, and after that, when this user will be logged out, then that will be redirected to our logging page. Okay, if you want to do that work, simple things. If you go right now, here we don't need this, and now if you go to that our app, HTTP controller, and then the auth, and that is the another file as an authenticated session controller. And into this authenticated session controller here you can see that is the our by default it's actually using the guard as a web guard and when this web guard will be as a logout then that will be returned redirect to the home page that is our slash page right now i want to do to change it i want to make it as a logging page that is also one of the default one of the logging route now to do i want to simply redirect it to our this page path as a logging now if you click as a save all and now go to our file and click as a refresh and now i want to do and to click as a logout yeah you can see it's now successfully redacted our slash logging that is our logging page great so friend that is our default one right here i didn't do anything when you install the laravel breeze package automatically breeze package actually created your locking and the register page right that is another page as a register 
you can see there is a register page so now i want to do i want to create another authentication system for the admin okay how can create it in a step by step i will show you everything with the live example so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video